Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here at Bama with Caterpillar and the 950 Electric with my great friend Terry. We've seen each other a long time ago. Oh, we did. Now, you've been playing around with electric here with the 950. What are we seeing behind us first? That's what people want to see. What's inside there instead of a diesel engine? Yes. So basically, we showed this machine three years or ago already at BOMA, it was a prototype. Yep. We move now to the next phase, which is what we call the pre-production. So we have machine running at customers in Europe and in North America, where we work with them to see if the machine are meeting their needs, also combined with the new chargers right. that we are providing them with. I see, so we've got that out in the field, folks, with these machines. So how have they been performing? That's the most important thing. They are working fine, obviously. Uh, Electric machines are not for everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are applications where the energy needs will be uh, just too high. Uh, but uh, that's where we need to be able to advise the customers to know if this electrical machine has a solution potential for, solution for them. This is a big machine. So mm -hmm. how long can it operate? And how long does it take to charge it as well? Yeah, yeah. So what's the kilowatts involved? So we have a total of 256 kilowatt hours of powers on that machine, which in an average application will allow to work up to five hours. Right, okay. And it then can the be charging? Long, it can be longer yep. in a light duty application. We have yep. a machine which will do their eight hours. Let's talk about the actual 950 as an electric model. What is it capable of doing? So what is it? What is its well, capability? Well, basically it's doing exactly the same as the diesel version. Yep. Obviously you have, with the electric motors, you have the reactivity of the electrical motors, yep. but we are tuning it to make it as reactive as the diesel machine. Because you don't want, you, you don't want to have tire slippage. You want to be controlling basically your rim pull when you penetrate into the pile. Yep. So all of that's done in the space with the control systems on yeah. here as well. Yeah, that's the time we spent from the prototype. I mean, the prototype was used to basically fine tune the machine so that we can put it in the customer hand. So the customers have been using it. And I guess there's one big thing that is a little bit different. And that's, it's quieter, isn't it? Obviously. Because it's electric. And how have mm. people fed back? with that because obviously a quieter machine they're not used to, but the capabilities of using something like this in applications indoors as well is really yes. exciting, isn't it? Yes, it, indeed. But yeah, I mean, the, the, that is an advantage. It's especially true for small machine because they are working usually inside building. Yep. This one has some amount of application of machine working inside, but yeah, the noise is being much quieter is an important factor also of an electrical machine indeed. So the big question is, now we're in the section where we've done the prototype, now we're, we're fine tuning as such. We've got a scenario where we've got the electric machine, but we've got the electric power solution from Caterpillar as well. Yep. So it's a complete solution that goes with this machine, and isn't it? It goes beyond the, just the chargers. Huh? We are looking at the power supplies, at the yep. energy storage, I mean, and at the, batch, at the cost of electricity per hours. Uh, to basically decide, help the customers to know when they need to charge the machine. It's the whole environment that we are working on. We want to provide them with a full solution when we go into production. So full solution with everything wrapped up and it's a big, big, big electric for Caterpillar. Great to see you again. Thank Thanks you. very much. Cheers. See you.